much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, on Monday, I asked about carbon levies high enough to transform behaviour. And the response was not about reducing greenhouse gases, not about incentives to change, it was about money. So, if it's all about the access to markets, and I assume that means someone buying Alberta's oil, to the Minister of Energy, why is the government failing to deal with the most common concern holding people back? And that is that this government has failed to take action to reduce greenhouse gases and failed to monitor and enforce a polluter pays policy. Come on, Honourable Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Mr. Speaker, uh, the government of Alberta actually is a leader in ter in this, on, on this continent in terms of what we have done to be envir responsible environmental stewards and finding that right balance between development, economic health and environmental responsibilities. And that is where we continue to work, Mr. Speaker. I think that's where you're failing, but um, I'll go to the Treasurer this time. Can the government justify why they collect a pitifully low carbon levy, bringing in $70 million a year, that's 7 0 and then hand out $1.4 billion to the, most of the same companies to encourage carbon capture and storage, which is trying to stuff that same carbon underground? So why isn't it used, as the Liberals have suggested, for municipal, public transit and green energy projects? Uh, well, uh, Mr. Speaker, I'm sure the Honourable Member is quite aware, given the fact that we're in the middle of estimates, that there's been a number of estimates done on the infrastructure uh, file, I believe energies has already been done. She would know that green trip funding is already going to our municipalities for some very significant uh, transportation initiatives, including in her home city of, of Edmonton. Uh, we also have, in terms of the technology, we have taken a very innovative approach different than other jurisdictions, taking industry money to help solve industry problems in, in greenhouse gas emissions. And the $1.4 billion number, Mr. Speaker, is not a one-year number. It's a, a number over a number of years. Honourable Member. Thanks, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I will give the government credit if it implements a 40-40, 40% reduction or pay $40 a tonne. But I have every confidence they will cave to, his, to industry. So will the Minister of Energy be backing his colleague on the 4040 or CAP on their 2020 or some other number altogether? Which will it be?